Yeah. Today, Protein Brothers is bringing you to a unit that we think is a hidden gem. We are in Le Rigo today. Unit wise is 872 square feet. Open kitchen concept. Kitchen appliance here is that you get your Electro Lux cooker cooled, your induction cooker as well as your inbuilt microwave. Microwave? Yeah, this is a microwave. Today, Protein Brothers is bringing you to a unit that we think is a hidden gem. A one-bedded duplex, under a million dollars, free home status. Great if you're considering between an own stay as well as investment option. So, let's go check this out. So, we are in Le Rigo today and this is in between Lorong 16 and 18. Project-wise, this TOP in 2015 comprises a total of 88 residential units with 48 commercial units located at level 1. Developers is Fragrance Group. So, this developer actually has a wide range of uh, property portfolio ranging from uh, countries such as Australia, United Kingdom, as well as here in Singapore. So, if you were to pull out the floor plan, what you'll find is that we are actually the one beta penthouse duplex. So what you can find on the first level is namely your bomb shelter, your living, dining, your open kitchen, a powder room. On the upper level, you can find your master bedroom, your master ensuite, as well as a open roof terrace. So according to the URA master plan, so this is a 8.2 hectares of white site that is going to be another sustainable waterfront living, which includes residential, recreational, as well as office spaces. So at the moment, the area is mainly occupied by two projects, namely Riverine by the Park, where the average per square feet is already treading around the 1,009 per square feet mark, as well as Kalang Riverside. So that is uh, averagely about 2,004 to 2,005 per square feet. All this is going to be very interesting in the upcoming future because uh, that is just actually a stone show away from where we are located at. So just a quick orientation on where Legurigal is located at. So we are in the intersection between two key MRT stations. Our junior MRT, so this is the east-west line. So from there, it's actually three stops down to Bugis where you can just hop over to the downtown line. So an additional stop that will lead you to City Hall MRT for the north-south line. Or alternatively, you can hit two stops back to the Paya Lebar MRT station where you can head over there to one of the three mega malls in that area. So further downwards, we have Mountbatten MRT. So this is the circle line, roughly about 750 meters away. So from there, it's just one stop down to stadium for your sporting needs. Additionally, you can hit a couple more stops down to Promenade where you can then choose whether you want to head over to uh, Marina Bay or Dobby God MRT station. So in terms of accessibility, what we feel is that this location is super convenient because we are located in District 14, also known as the RCL zoning or the City Fringe zoning. And what this means is that for the rentability for this unit, if you are looking at this from an investment standpoint, is that uh, what we feel is the downtime for this unit is super low because of all the amenities that can be found nearby, as well as the transportation nodes where you can choose whether you want to take the bus or MRT. And usually all this will form a major consideration factor for the tenants as well. So now that we have chatted a little bit about where we are located, at, as well as the statistics for this project and unit-wise. Let's begin this home tour at the entrance itself and uh, let's go! Alright, so unit-wise is 872 square feet, so we are standing here in the entrance foyer itself. A couple of things that I want to point out for this area itself is that uh, the digital lock for the door system has already been installed and this little function over here. So this is the intercom system that you have visitors over, they'll just dial up to the unit itself. But the interesting point is that if you are staying here as either the tenant or the owner, this project does not use the typical kind of access card and to enter into this project wise, you need to get registered on your thumbprint and this is the only way into the building itself. So security wise, it's not compromised one bit and in this corner over here uh, direct to your right is this is where your bomb shelter is located at so this is great if you want to chuck all your barang barang inside so uh, a great use of space uh, usually used as a storage room as well you can easily do it up uh, to be your shoe cabinetry system as well so moving on, so this is directly leads to your open kitchen concept. Some of the kitchen appliance here is that you get your Electro Lux cooker cooled, your induction cooker as well as your inbuilt microwave. You got all the cabinetries still in good condition. So uh, your sink area so it's pretty convenient. You just uh, prep your food over here and you just turn and go and cook your meal. 
uh, washing area is also pretty conveniently located at a pretty uh, kind of uh, efficient and compact kitchenette space uh, if you really must say so. So a uh, couple of things that we want to point out here in this area. So in the balcony space wise, what the owners have already done is that they have really enclosed this entire space up. So what this means is that you'll be able to utilize this entire area fully because you can either place like what the owners have done currently is that they have placed this kind of uh, indoor dining set and towards this corner because this is of an elongated shape, this is more or less their reading corner. So what we can suggest for this space, uh, you can level out the balcony flooring to be in line with the living room because this actually has a little step down portion and once you level it out, it'll be pretty seamless and this will all be your indoor space as well. So once you level it out, probably this area, you can actually throw in some uh, bean bags as well as uh, to make it like a lounging corner. A very long elongated kind of balcony space. Benefit of having such a long balcony is that uh, through all these kind of window panels, this then allows the unit to be very brightly lit because uh, the entire space will be flush with natural light. So essentially, if you come by during a viewing in the daytime, you'll notice that this unit is definitely brightly lit. So in this corner, simple two-seater setup, uh, you can easily do it up to be a four-seater setup. Just throw in perhaps two dining chairs at the corner. So this is probably where you will do up your washer come dryer system as well. So moving forward to the living room space Flooring wise for the first level communal space is mainly clad uh, in marble flooring So this is where the living room setup is currently being located at Currently it's three seater so far set up but depending on how many people is staying here I think that a two seater will be comfortable enough the wall plugs are already conveniently located towards this direction so you can easily place up uh, your TV set, you can do up with feature wall, you can have your TV sideboard here and you know easily utilize the plug in this direction. Or alternatively, uh, what we can also suggest is that because this is an inbuilt kind of a cupboard, if you do not require this space to kind of put up your belongings, probably what you can do with this space is then reorientate your living room to be in this direction instead and your TV will be in this direction itself. Moving forward as well, this is your powder room location is at. So over here, you got this huge kind of ventilation window. Also doubles up as your access way to your aircon latch. Tiling wise, uh, on the walls, you have a homogeneous tile. Flooring wise, non-slip. So your WC, your vanity counter and some bottom storage cabinets. And if you were to notice on the floor plan, we have actually two bathroom wise. So one on the lower level, another one in the master bedroom itself. So what we think is that this is great because if you are someone that likes to host, this level will more or less become the communal kind of area and they do not have to head up to use your bathroom that is being served as your master bedroom wise itself. So I think that's it for the lower level. Why not let's head up and we'll chat a little bit more about the pricing as well as the rentability of this unit itself. So let's go. So we are on the open roof terrace on the second level at the moment. Space wise what we feel is that it's not too big, not too small. Definitely what I can envision at this point of time is that there can be a couple of usage for this space. But at the present moment, this is presently being fit only with a swings chair. So this was what I was sitting on earlier. Super comfortable, you should definitely get one of this. What you can do to have some form of shelter is you can do up an automated kind of a awning system and if you are someone that likes to actually host this can then become a form of a private barbecue area because we are actually located on the top floor of Leridiao so definitely lots of privacy here as well and one thing to note is that if you were to pull out the site plan for this project wise itself you will notice that towards the left and right you do not have any adjoining neighbours so definitely more privacy in a sense so uh, probably you can do up like a barbecue system over here and then further back, you can actually have like a simple four-seater kind of a fresco dining. So you can have this as like a chill, uh, relaxing area uh, at the end of the evening wise itself. Moving forward, so dual door system. So this one leads to the master bedroom itself and this one leads to the stairwell. 
So this is where we actually came from earlier wise itself. So second level, mainly have your master bedroom space itself as well as your open terrace area. Master bedroom wise, uh, you got this wardrobe panel over here, so sliding in fashion. The depth is pretty decent, so it's those adjustable kind of a uh, fashion. Simple side desk as well as a queen size kind of mattress. On this wall space over here, they have already mounted simple TV screen, so you can use this as like a relaxing corner as well. Master ensuite, similarly, non slip tiles, homogeneous in terms of wall. Towards the standing showering area, these are marble finishes. The shower screen has already been installed and you got your double C over here, still pretty well maintained. Probably for this unit wise itself, not much needs to be done apart from uh, just a minor touch up here and there. Flooring wise for the second level onwards is actually of timber strips. So these are very long lasting and durable itself. So based on the kind of rentability as mentioned earlier, if we were to look at the kind of figures that you'll be receiving as an investment standpoint, based on the kind of rental transactions that has been happening recently, we will estimate that the kind of rental that you'll be receiving will be in the region between 2004 to 2005 per month. And if we were to crunch the numbers, this will equate to a very healthy kind of rental yield at about 3.5%. And based on the mortgage breakdown, on our full asking price at 850,000 negotiable, and with a 60 percent loan to value due to the nature of uh, the location of this project wise let's take a look at the kind of uh, mortgage loan that will be incurred so 1.5 percent interest rate over a 30 years loan tenure so your monthly mortgage per month is at 1760 and what this means is that after factoring your receivable in terms of rental as well as minusing off your mcsc fees at 290 per month your net positive cash flow will be at 450 dollars per month and we also think that the barrier to entry for this unit is also very reasonable due to the kind of a quantum entry price because you are taking a very small loan amount of 510,000 assuming that you are an individual with an income between 4 to 5,000 per month you will easily be able to qualify for this loan amount based on your TDSR so of course all this uh, calculation is actually based off a 60% loan to value and if let's say you are able to obtain a 70 or 75% loan to value this will be slightly better as well because then your overall kind of down payment will be lesser as well. So in addition to that, let's take a look at some of the pricing analysis within this vicinity itself. So just to share, it's quite a common knowledge to know that the pricing aspect for the District 14 region has been lagging behind when it comes to other zoning itself. So for some context, the whole Singapore map can be segregated into three different zonings. So first up, we have the core central region, which is located in the center or the heart of Singapore, followed by the rest of central region. So this is the skirting around the core central region, also known as the city fringe zoning and lastly we have the OCR or the outside of central region so where we are located at Larry Gell is actually in the RCR zoning district 14 and some of the per square feet pricing in terms of the zoning here in terms of the new benchmark pricing is hovering around the 1009 to 2002 per square feet mark and if we were to look at some of the new launches here in district 14 for example uh, first up we have Resi 24 so the transacted pricing is really hovering around the 1006 per square feet uh, similar like Nomo at Glamart so the per square feet pricing is also about 1006 arena residents the transacted pricing for this project wise is already hovering around the 1008 to 1009 kind of region and coming back to our unit here at Larry Girl based on our full asking price at 850,000 negotiable this will translate it to be a per square feet pricing of 974 and if you were to do a quick search on the available kind of resale units in the market at this present point of time and with a per square feet under a thousand dollars there isn't much option and this then makes our unit one of the most affordable in the market at this point of time Okay, so now that you have already seen the kind of lower and upper level for this unit wise itself, I think this is great because it then segregates the kind of communal livable space as well as the upper level in a more private kind of fashion. Also, one thing to point out in this corner over here, so you have this little pocket of space. So definitely what you can do with this area is you can actually flush the entire wall length with cabinetry system as well. Or you can use this as like a study area because on the floor plan, this was dedicated as a study space itself.
So uh, let's talk a little bit about the amenities. So we got basin parking. So this runs actually all the way from B1 to B3. So three levels of uh, basement parking. You also got an indoor gym, a fitness corner, a swimming pool, kids pool, barbecue pits, uh, children playgrounds, and the function room as well. So this is mainly located at level two. For nearby primary school, you got Gela Methodist, Konghua, Kenosa Convent, Bendemeer Primary, all within 2 kilometers. For MRT, you have Mountbatten MRT as well as Aljunit MRT. So for shopping malls, you have Pai Lebar Square, Pai Lebar Quarters, and Singapore Center, all being located at Pai Lebar Hub. Or alternatively, you can also head over to Kalang, where you can find Kalang Wave Mall as well as Kalang Leisure Park. So if you're looking for a unit that is flexible for either own stay or investment, having a really good entry price in terms of overall quantum and per square Fit pricing being one of the most affordable in this area itself. On top of that, having great connectivity throughout the multiple parts of the island, then do give our listing manager a call. In the meantime, do remember to like and subscribe on our social media platforms. We are on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, as well as TikTok. My name is Brian, Property Brothers, always happy to show you the place. Now today, Property Brothers... It, okay. Wow, I feel like being chung eh. <laughs> okay, we can take a look. Chung Max, Chung Max. You are someone that likes to barbecue uh, and host friends over that. Wow, that's so That's what we will put to. Baby, you make me a whole lot better.